Hey, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. I've been getting a lot of comments here about four years ago, readings from four years ago circulating again somehow. Subscribers are saying that that is resonating now. We do have some transits that make that kind of thing possible. Well, also, this is the spirit well realm in which we dwell. I can't even say that. Am I rhyming anyway? But this is the spirit realm, right? So when we tell you things like, okay, you know, this reading may resonate at a different time. It's just what it is. It is what it is. Okay. And also there's patterns and there's cycles and they come back up again. That's just what it is. So something right now, last year, the year before, that may be resonating with you. And if it shows up and you feel called to it, go ahead. All right. See how it is. Not just mine, but other people's too. Sorry for taking up your time here. Let's see who's coming towards Scorpio the next two weeks. Okay. Hmm. All right. Someone's going to invite you somewhere here, Scorpio. They're going to take it upon themselves to say something towards you. They feel like this is out of bounds and they're not supposed to be speaking up. Whoever this is, is going to take it upon themselves to do something out of the box towards you. That's what they're doing. Okay. They have some type of idea that you guys are going to go somewhere, do something that this will, you know, spice things up, liven things up here. That's what they're looking at. All right. Scorp. Show me Scorpio. Scorpio on this vibe. Witness. Hmm. So here's what's up, Scorpio. I see that you're on the precipice of like. It's almost like you. Okay. You're putting everything else aside here so that you could fix your life up with that internal struggle here it's like you want to be a better person you want to be different look different show up different there's something about you that's going to be different but you have to put in the work here i'm seeing like an eight of pentacles i'm seeing a nine of wands okay there's something about your perseverance and dedication that's very important to you during this time but while you're doing this you have this person popping up and i, th I feel like you're kind of looking at them like yes and what okay what do you need? What do you want? Okay, cool. You know, like this person is trying to communicate with you. Yeah, they want to know what it is that you're hiding or like what's up with you. Okay, because I feel like someone, someone just burnt you out over here. Okay, you could be burning yourself out too. So be careful about that. I'm just saying in the coming period, just be mindful that you don't, you know, go through some type of burnout because you look really busy. Like you look like you're keeping yourself busy here. Okay, maybe maybe too busy at times okay make sure about that but anyway you're looking at this person like what is it like you know burnt by the sun over here yeah no okay so let's see who this is you're not as excited by this person as they are by you they're excited to come towards you and you don't feel like this is gonna go anywhere so it's like you kind of lost your whole vibe toward them Okay, you really lost the vibe here. Let me see this person. Show me this person. Okay, so the six, of, that's what I'm saying. So yeah, look, this is somebody trying to give you love, attention, affection. They could be promising you some type of like gifts, you know, exchange, some kind of exchange. Okay, I'm hearing something about buffalo sauce. Buffalo, is it sauce? I don't even know. All right. Let me see here with the six of pentacles. Is it buffalo sauce? Does that sound right? <laughs> Ten of pentacles and the three of wands. Yeah, maybe they're trying to take you to eat or uh, maybe you know something about buffalo, whatever. With this person, buffalo this, buffalo that. Who cares? 
So this is somebody who wants to give you some type of attention, loving attention, affection. They're feeling super excited. I see this person has your photos. They look at them. They do things to themselves about them. And they're over here wondering like, when, when is Scorpio going to give back, get back to me, give to me? Okay. Some of you guys, this is someone who feels like you owe them something. Do you? Do you really owe them something? Okay. Now here's the thing. They're over here wondering, is Scorpio going to do the long term with me or is Scorpio just going to keep making me wait here because that's their idea they think that you're going to put them on hold like for the foreseeable future that means like a long time here they feel a long time you've been making them wait or they're about to be waiting and they're just over it okay this person has this little bit of impatience coming in but they're in this earth energy almost like sludge okay so something about checkers I'm getting something about checkers here so this person plays checkers not chess is that why you're upset okay so you feel like this person's a little slow um is it with their coin because that's what it looks like okay so let me see show me scorpio you're slow with your coin you don't know what to invest in okay so coin time energy resource all right so let me see here so you feel like they don't invest properly you're not investing in your future. You're either waiting, anticipating, procrastinating, thinking, blah, 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 this. Show me Scorpio. Ace of Pentacles. All right. Okay, you're over here like, why are you even talking to me? Okay, so I feel like a stranger is like approaching you and they're asking for directions, but you have a GPS. Don't you have a phone? Okay, there's something like this. Or it's like they're trying to figure out where you are, where you're going. Yikes. All right. Mm. So Scorpio, that's what I'm saying. All right. You have this anticipation of things switching up into your favor here. You have this brand new pentacle. Someone's looking at you. You're building, you're working on this new thing of yours. Is this a theory? I'm hearing Pythagorean theorem. There's something that you are calculated about. So I feel like you're learning a new skill or you're just developing yourself in a, in a strong way, okay? You're developing your earth energy, okay? So some of you, when you develop your earth energy, yeah, maybe this is you working on your, your fitness, your health, your whatever, and your money, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. But what do you, but what, right? Hmm. Scorpio, I see you've been investing in yourself because this is bringing you a lot of peace. It's like, screw all else. I have to look at me. I have to feel right. I have to feel good. Okay. But this opportunity is popping up. You might just change your mind. This is what I'm seeing. You're like, all right, my cup is full. I filled my own cup up here. Like I feel good. I feel fine. Whatever. Maybe I'll revisit whatever this is from this person coming your way. Okay. That's what they're doing. Yeah. So that's what I'm telling you. So you have this like love relationship. You have communication coming in. Someone has a really nice voice. Like I don't know who this is. If you are attracted by this person's voice or they're very attracted by your voice, there's something about this coming in and this could have already been spoken about. So you would know if that's you. It's like, wow, I just love hearing your voice. It's so sexy. It's so attractive. It's so, you know, something like this. All right. So I am seeing this person popping up. Communication. Let's do the darn thing. That's what it is. So why is Scorpio showing up with the Seven of Swords like that? I'm hearing, I don't care. I feel you. I do. So you have been making someone wait, but maybe you did this on purpose for some of you. There's your nine of wands. Some of you, you did this on purpose. You just weren't feeling it. It's like, okay, you could just wait. Yeah, you could wait. With the seven of swords. It's like you were getting irritated by someone or you felt like this like pressure. Either this person was pissing you off or you were feeling like someone was just pressuring you too much. Maybe it's both. Like you could be pissed off because someone's pressuring you. You just felt very antsy, like this irritation. It's like you're irritated. I'm seeing like diaper rash. I don't know what this is about. Maybe you have a rash. This person is giving you hives. Like you feel like this person, you're allergic to them somehow. It's like you, 
okay, do you have allergies? It's like you're filling. You needed some time and space from them here. And this is what was healthy for you. This is what was good for you. Could have even been toward this person. Like, it's good for you to wait. It's better for you to like be on timeout or us to be on timeout. Let's put this on ice. Something happened. All right. It's changing though. All right. We were already, you know, we already established this part. So in the next two weeks, yeah, I'm seeing that there's an offer coming in. Like I told you, I'm hearing don't argue with me. So somebody's being argumentative. Show me Scorpio on Scorpio. Okay, is this Scorpio on Scorpio crime? Mm -hmm. What's this about? <laughs> okay, listen. I... It's like you completely shift. Suddenly you feel some type of like love, compassion, understanding toward this person. Here's like, oh, I remember now. You know, I do want you. I love you. I'm going to give into this. I have time now. You know, I cleared my schedule. I did what I needed to do. Now that I feel at peace, now that I feel at like calm down, I'm loving myself again. You know, I got myself right. You did something to shift your energy score, but you needed time to do it. You needed space. But now you're back again. It's like you feel, okay, yeah, come over to my place. Like I'm ready. Open arms toward you here. You have a fun opportunity with someone coming in. All right. You have this idea of like companionship. This is what this is. King and queen. Hello. Of the cups. So the two of swords. So, okay. Yeah. So this is, the, you're no longer going to be waiting to connect with this person. It's like, I feel like you could be reaching out to them because after you put them on hold here, mm -hmm. it's affirmative though. It's like, yes, you're saying yes, all right? Tell me about this. Tell me about this wheel. Who is this? I don't know who this is. We should go over there and see who that is, huh? <laughs> the six of wands. This could be an earth sign for some of you. Okay, we got Taurus, Taurus moon energy. We've got Saturn vibes. Okay, maybe this person's Saturnian in nature, in general, maybe a rising sign, Capricorn, Aquarius vibe. Okay, you got some Virgo here. Whatever. Mm-hmm, yeah. So here's the star card, all right? It's like you show up, you're like, I'm happy again. I'm happy. You want to hang out? Yeah. That's what it is. Tell me about this Six of Pentacles individual. I want to know how they're seeing you. Yeah, see this Two of Pentacles. It's like, that's what I'm telling you. I already told you this. They don't know. And I just clarify what I said. They don't know if they should keep up with, with this with you because they don't know if you want long term or not. It's like you keep making something difficult or they do. Whatever it is, you guys have something to overcome here. But it's almost like, well, is a relationship something you can work for or not? They feel like they can, but at times they question themselves because you push back on them. They don't feel this is reciprocated. <laughs> What? Okay, let me see how they're seeing you, Scorpio. See, this is the burning question. For that, I had to pull a new deck. How's this person seeing Scorpio? Really? Like, you keep dropping this. Like, you feel like, yeah, Ace of Cups. It's like, you know that there's a love opportunity here, but you stress out. And then you come back. I don't know if you've done this before, but they feel like something is on and off or in and out here. They're also afraid. I know. They see that you're afraid. Like, maybe you fear being abandoned, so you abandon or vice versa, whatever. Okay? But they feel like you just kind of drop out. Like, no... um no warning no warning you're just over here like okay this is bothering me this is stressing me out bye like you're quick to shut it down that's how they see you <laughs> ace of cups again okay seven of want that's what i'm saying it's like you uh maybe it's almost like love yeah is it the love here that you don't feel comfortable with something like this it's like you need to practice self-love or you've been wanting to 
that could be why scorp okay yeah so the thing is is like you're you're trying to fix your life up like you might have a whole bunch of opportunities coming your way and you just really want peace and quiet and clarity this person feels like you have a lot of options you may have also been dealing with a cheater. Like you may have dealt with somebody who was always playing you, lying to you, cheating on you, making you question, yada, yada. Okay, this person knows that. So that's why they feel like you're quick to bounce or just freaking dip. You're just like, whatever. Okay, so let me see how you see this person. Scorpio. I feel like they wonder if you're dealing with other people too. How Does this person, uh, how does Scorpio see this person? Like the five of wands. So you know that this is somebody who's been trying to reconcile with you here. Nine of wands, yeah. But they always lack clarity or they're confused here. This could be someone that you see as like they're in their head a lot. Like you may feel like this person thinks with their emotions as opposed to like anything else okay more so like a dreamlike state like a childlike state it's like oh everything's gonna be great it's gonna be perfect you know you may feel like this person is easily distracted or they have been in the past like distractible tell me what this is mm. this person lost confidence here that's how you see them Like they were trying to reconnect with you and they had so many mixed signals or they didn't know what to do, where to put their efforts and all this stuff. Like maybe they were just too focused on the daydreamy nature of the whole situation. Like, oh, I just love you so much or whatever this is. And you're over here like seeing them as losing their confidence in the process of just trying to get a reconciliation going with you. So it's like they put themselves on the line here. And something was a little too playful, youthful, immature, something like this, or like premature, okay? And so you see that this person has lost like a level of confidence in dealing with this, like trying to get things back. Some of you, you may feel like this person is dealing with like a past hurt or pain that has nothing to do with you okay or maybe it does have to do with you okay because that's what's coming up here because you would you would know about it but anyway all right next two weeks scorpio on this person please from when scorpio's watching this dinosaurs okay dinosaurs ten of cups and four of pentacles Okay. Hmm. Who is this nine of swords? All right. Scorpio, this person is like, I feel like it's like stresses you. The situation stresses you out. It stresses this person out. Someone is trying to get the whole shebang going here, like wanting togetherness and love and patience and compassion and family. Let's live together. I got a hammock in the backyard. You know, we could swing. Oh, that sounds interesting. Doesn't it? Does that not sound? Okay. I mean, sure, whatever. But... Maybe that's somebody's into that. I don't know. Okay. But it's like in the coming two weeks is still not fully together because there's a whole bunch of resistance here. Like people are still defensive. I feel like you're trying not to be too pushy towards somebody, Scorp, or this is them. Because I feel like you're not trying to be pushy because almost like you want to work on your own vibe here but this person is trying to get you together with them and that's why they're being pushy so you guys both have pushiness in different ways or like defensiveness in different ways i just feel like not a whole lot of togetherness is happening in the next two weeks like the idea is here but it feels still lacking in a way yeah someone is thinking like should i like apologize or
Scorpio, I see you trying to exit stage left off of some other type of situation to come toward this one. We won't get into that. I know we talked about this in other readings. And it's coming up in so many of your readings. I don't know what to tell you. All right, Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? Ahem, ahem, ahem. All right. What does Scorpio need to know in the next two weeks? It is. It is in the other readings. It's all over the place, actually. Scorpio, need to know in the next two weeks, please. Spirit, what do you want? Scorpio, to know. Mm, you may be trying to rush things here, Scorpio. Like... You really could be putting the cart before the horse here at certain times. But that's not how this is going to play out. Even though you may want that, that's not what spirit has in store for you. It's like you're slowly being guided. And the reason why is so that you can check your P's and Q's and dot your I's and cross your T's or whatever. Because you really need to be more practical you need to be more grounded and not just spontaneous and going with your heart and like sure that's all great and dandy but this right here is asking you to have more plans with this page of pentacles okay like you need more stability in your situation that's why it's going to take longer because that's the slowest element like earth is the slowest element okay that's why it's going to take longer. Like, I feel like you're going with more so, like, I have this idea and I'm feeling it and I'm feeling the urge and, you know, I feel good about myself, which is all great. Perfect, right? And your feelings, yeah. But you need more of the earth element here. So that's what you've been doing here too. You're the one over here planning. Yeah. So this new thing is popping up right now, but I'm seeing... It's moving up. Yeah, you get the page right after, but it's like you need more, more practical ideas, more planning, more, more groundedness. Okay. But it's coming together. It's just not as fast as you want. It's a little bit slower. Six of Swords coming in to slow that down. And that's Spirit Guides. Okay. Spirit Guides are slowing this down for you because they, they want you to land on solid ground and not just always like lost at sea. You're lost in your emotions, lost in the sauce, you know, because you're going to drown out there. You can't stay out there forever. Okay. So they're taking you slowly. Yeah, you do have a solution coming your way. You have happy times coming. Where I'm telling you with the Ace of Pentacles, it's all going to work out here. World card perfect. Imperfect timing and divine timing. Wheel in the bottom of the deck here, okay? That's what Spirit's telling you. So yeah, work on your earth element. And to me, when I'm talking about earth, I'm talking about health, body. Um, let's, let's think here. Finance. Maybe you need to go garden, plant some things, spend time in nature, okay? Things that are tangible. That's what's being asked of you here, okay? Also, planning. Yeah, that also makes Saturn happy. Planning, perseverance, discipline, anything that requires your discipline that you actually say, I'm going to do this and you actually walk the walk, not just talk the talk, that'll appease Saturn here. yeah okay you're gonna get there love you so very much scorpio feel free to check previous and future reads for more or different information friends family members neighbors co-workers beeping down beeping down down the street check their placements so we know everybody in the world have two kisses love you bye